on. And then at, at one point in time, uh, it was the decision was made to uh, do a press conference. I think that the the, the leadership was um, very anxious about being uh, apart from their members. They had a conference call with all of the members, and the members, you know, back <laughs> in the in the capital area in this, the, the capital police uh, the, uh, headquarters. You know, we're saying let's reopen the capital. We need to show the American people that we're open for business. We can't let the terrorists win. And one member of Congress uh, uh, told uh, the speaker that he thought he was a coward for not coming back. And so, uh, you know, there's this this kind of very tense um, uh, situation. Uh, and so it was decided that we were going to have uh, a press conference on the Capitol steps to uh, show uh, our uh, the American people that we were, um, you know, not going to let the, the terrorists win. And so we helped organize that press conference. I called one of my assistants, uh, Paige Ralston, who was back in the uh, uh, the Capitol Police, and we she helped organize uh, uh, this uh, this press conference. Uh, on, on the Capitol steps. There was, uh, oh, Trent Lott uh, wanted this only to be the leadership involved. Uh, I kind of made the call um, that we were going to have uh, all the members there uh, and because, you know, they were not going to just watch the leadership there and they were, uh, and, and as it turned out, all the members um, had filled uh, on the, the Senate side steps, uh, House and Senate. And, you know, leadership uh, appeared um, and to all the cameras and it was a uh, dusk was kind of settling and it was kind of interesting because uh, we you know you can only do so much from 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 a secure location and setting up a press conference so pretty much all the stuff had been set up by the time we got in there we uh, uh, typed up some notes for for speaker Hastert uh, to and I think he mostly did it off the cuff from, from memory serves me right